Well, howdy, 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 everybody. This is the first installment of True Crime Sundays. Now, Brad's going to open this, so I was going to say a whole bunch of stuff, but go ahead. Okay. Um, Therese and I watch a lot of uh, true crime videos. Mm -hmm. um, we watch we lot, watch a lot of police videos because we're kind of nerds that way. We are. And uh, um, there's, there's a couple channels that we absolutely love. One is Adventures with Purpose, and uh, um, Jared and Doug and the crew, these are gentlemen that will go around the United States, and they have uh, diving equipment, sonar equipment, boats, and everything, and uh, um, they will search for missing persons. I mean, we've seen some of them where they found people that have died, what, 30 years ago? Yeah and everything and uh, um, they are just absolutely phenomenal they don't charge the families anything they do not charge law enforcement anything uh so they when they're diving as these people are in, in the vehicles they were locked yeah in. yeah yeah you know and so far they've been around since they've been in action since about 2019 i believe and so far, they have found uh, 24 missing people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's just when they do find a vehicle with a body in it, first thing they do is they call law enforcement. And then they just back completely off. And mm -hmm. then they, you know, because it's an it's a actual crime scene. And then um, mm -hmm. if law enforcement wishes them to help, they will be more than happy. Uh, Doug used to be a uh, tow truck driver. Mm -hmm. And he really knows his stuff about how to hook up vehicles to pull them out. And, you know, they're more than happy to do whatever they can. Um, and they're just, they're, uh, they are such a great bunch of guys. So, you know, I would really encourage if you guys are into any of this to go ahead and check them out. They're very, very respectful. They never show, um, they never show the deceased person. Can you I know, interrupt sure, for just go one for it. second? I have to say one disclaimer real quick before you get into it anymore. I forgot. Is it, like I said, okay, this is my husband Brad, by the way, and I'm Teresa. But we are not professionals by any means. We are just true crime buffs like a lot of you guys. And um, so, uh, you know, we're, this is just information we've gathered from watching other people's videos. So, you know, uh, please check out other people's videos here on YouTube. But we are. This is just our opinion on these cases. Yes, exactly. Good, good thought. I'm glad you thought of that. Yeah. You know, on the other um, YouTube channel that um, we'll watch quite a bit is Christina Randall, mm -hmm. and she does a lot of research into this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's she's got some very, very interesting opinions. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, I definitely highly recommend uh, Adventures with Purpose watching their channel. They're the only channels we actually pay, yeah. we actually subscribe to, yeah. like pay a membership to. Yeah. Out of everybody's channels, that's yeah. the one that we and say, goes, go ahead. And, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, and it goes to a great cause. You know, um, there's been instances where they've used some of the, the money to help out the families. Mm -hmm. and uh, Basically like with burial costs. Yeah, and they're just, you know, they're so respectful. They're, uh, um, they're just, uh, they're a great bunch of guys. So uh, our absolute greatest kudos to them. One of the things that Therese and I were talking about. Are you gonna talk about the case? Yeah. Oh, the yeah, actual case? Okay. Yeah, that's what. I'm getting yeah. there. That's, I, I know, I have a, I have a, a tendency to be, be able to make a short story long. And, uh, um, you know, there's the Reader's Digest condensed version, then there's Brad's three-day event. <laughs> but uh, the, the, one, the one case that they were called out on in August was um, the Kylie Rodney case. And uh, if you have not heard about this, Kylie Rodney was a 16-year-old girl and she just graduated, just graduated from high school at age 16 with honors. Yeah. And uh, um, she had gone to uh, a party out at, out at this lake. And, you know, uh, like so many kids do. Yeah. Yeah. And she never, sh she never showed up back home. And normally, um, AWP prefers to do their searching 
um, on cold or, cases. On yeah. cold cases. So you know, years or year or years after after it's it's happened. But I believe they were called uh, between seven and ten days afterwards. Mm -hmm. So, um, but uh, Kylie Rodney and her family lived in Truckee, California. And on August 5th and 6th uh, was the last time anybody, anybody heard from them or heard from her. There was a uh, party at Prosser Reservoir Campground, uh, which is not too far from their hometown of Truckee. Um, there were two to three hundred kids at these at this party. Huge and yeah, big party. Uh, there was uh, uh, a fire ban, so the only lights that they were using was uh, headlights, flashlights, so on right. and so forth. Uh, there was a lot of admitted drinking and a lot of drug use. And uh, uh, Kylie drove, I believe it was a 2013 um, silver Honda CRV, and. Kylie said that, uh, or the family said that Kylie would has never ever uh, drank and drive. So um, she texts mom at 11:30 on the evening of the fifth that she was on her way home, and it would mm -hmm. take her about 45 minutes uh, to get home. And uh, um, she never showed up. Yeah. So when the the police did their did their uh, detective work. Her last cell phone ping, I believe, was at 12.33, an hour later after she texted her mom. Right. And the cell phone ping was right by the edge of the water. Mm -hmm. um, there at that camp. At the Prosser, yeah, yeah the Prosser family campground. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, there we saw, we saw a lot of interviews with, with law enforcement, mm -hmm. you know, about how many, you know, they kept, they kept, um, uh, talking about how many man hours they put in and all the search teams and cadaver dogs and this and that and uh, they were just kind of at a loss mm -hmm. and uh, I don't remember did um, law enforcement invite AWP or at first it was said that uh, that law enforcement asked them to come and then later on it speculated that maybe AWP said that to not embarrass law enforcement at okay. how easily she was found yeah, because AWP, they've been doing but this. But they for, think maybe the family asked him to come, too. That, that could very well be. Somebody had definitely asked him to come. Yeah, and they live up in um, Oregon, isn't it? Right, and they yeah. were at another case further in the United States and actually left that case to come, oh, okay. come do this. So. Okay. I made some notes on what I wanted to say because sometimes I get in front of the campground and or campground, campground? <laughs> in front of the camera and I just I completely he'll freeze up yeah totally now he wanted to do this so free. yes I did um but uh yes the law enforcement they said that they had searched uh not only Prosser Reservoir but there were two or three other reservoirs that they said they thoroughly searched and it was like 1500 man hours had gone into this search and uh um um, you know, they, they didn't find any signs of her. Well, um, AWP showed up and, uh, first thing they do is they go talk to, uh, the law enforcement officials mm -hmm. and it kind of surprised me because I didn't see, I, it, it didn't seem like it was a warm reception from the it law It was not. They did not. Law enforcement really was like, well, I don't know why you guys are here because, yeah. you know, we've already searched high and low, but, yeah. you know. And uh, um, so they got they got the information from law enforcement. There was a young man that was a tow truck truck driver. Triple A for Triple A. Yeah, yeah. And uh, um, he was very adamant about that. No, that yes. <laughs> and uh, he wanted to speak with uh, um, um, with uh, Jared and Doug from AWP. Oh, actually, he accidentally bumped into them. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes. They stopped at, I believe, a, a truck stop, a fuel center. Yeah. And this, this AAA driver said, hey, you know, if you guys are here for that case, I want to tell you, you know. What he saw. Right. And what happened was, is he was called and, uh, did it come from Kylie's phone? Do you remember? I don't remember. I think they said it did. Okay. And uh, so he showed up. No, it did not come from Kylie's phone. It came from... His phone. 
Yes, from the ex-boyfriend's phone. Okay, that's right, from Jaeger's phone. Let's 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 put the the players here right now are Jaeger, who is the ex-boyfriend, and then Sam, Sammy, Sammy. Sammy, who is supposed to be her best friend. Yeah. But anyway, it came from Jaeger's phone. Yeah, it came from Jaeger's phone. Right. And uh, he showed up to help them, help them get the car started. And one of the things is Sammy and Kylie, they look very similar. No, yeah, yes. You I'm know, sorry. they're, yeah. I mean, because they're both blonde hair, they're both really, really small right. and everything. And so um, the tow truck driver assumed that it was was Kylie. Because he was, it, she introduced herself as Kylie. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. Yeah, and she said the reason she didn't call from her phone is that her phone, um, Stop working. Yeah. So, this big song and dance about how they'd had to wait, and they kept trying to get the vehicle, and then they finally called, and... Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, then she... Then, um, he was... He was kind of checking things out, and she had him come over to the, the driver's side, and she was asking him questions about... The, the big one I remember was how to use the seatbelt. Yeah, he, he said that she kept asking him stupid questions like, you know, how do you correctly use the seatbelt and would have him come show her and stuff. Now, this, the, the Jaeger, the ex-boyfriend was on one side of the vehicle. The woman posing as Kylie was on the other side and they made sure that that, uh, Triple A driver never got to around the back of the vehicle or anything. They kind of like if one would go to one side, the other would go to the other side, you know, and and acting very suspicious. Yeah, and he wasn't sure if they were purposely right. distracting him, but he kind of he kind of felt like there was something going on there right. that they didn't want they didn't want him to know. And so this is kind of leading up to to where else this is going, and. Uh, um, so after after the the triple A guy um, spoke with them, yeah. spoke with them, and they went out and was Prosser the first? No, they checked out someplace else. They checked out one of the other lakes first, Did and they? then I believe so. And then they came back to Prosser, and uh, they use um, inflatable rafts, uh, these little inflatable rafts, and the sonar equipment they have is just incredible. Yeah, so and, the uh, Garmin sonar and it's yeah, just it's, fabulous. And uh, so they put their they put their boat in, and within thirty minutes they had spotted her car. Yeah. And it was just right off right off the beach. On four, and it was in in fourteen about feet of water. Yeah. Fourteen yep. feet of water, and uh, they actually they also have a, a drone with a camera, mm -hmm. and they even flew the drone above it, mm -hmm. and you could actually see it right yeah, there. Yeah, you could. You know, while it Plain was underwater. Plain as day, and even though it was upside down. Mm hmm. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, one of them, oh no, Jared wasn't there, it was that other guy. Because I remember that was his first dive, and I remember the look on his face. Oh yes, 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 yes. oh yeah. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't Jared. But uh, they, uh, Doug sent this other gentleman down, I'm sorry I can't remember his name. Yeah. Um, and he came up with just a horrified look on his face. Yeah. And eventually he did say that, that her body was in the car. And he said, call, well, first he said, call law enforcement. Yes. And he, you could tell he was very shaken up. Yes, he was. And he said, she's in the vehicle. Yes. And uh, um, there's been other cases that we've seen where uh, when they do find the, the missing person, uh, there was one case I remember where they did call the family first because they didn't want the family to have to hear it from law enforcement. Right. So I don't know if this is what they yeah what they I don't did know on this one. now I know her father showed up or maybe it was her grandfather showed up I think it was her father and and was very upset yeah you know yeah very very yeah upset. I think it was her father also yeah and he couldn't he couldn't stay there right so um, I don't blame him when law enforcement showed up um, uh, Doug had said okay this is a crime scene once we once we found, once we spotted her body, we completely hands right, off. Right. And he said, "I'm offering my services at no charge if you want me to hook up the vehicle, and uh, everything." And they refused. Yeah. 
they said, no, we've got our own team, we're yep. going to do it ourselves. And uh, so when they did pull the vehicle out, um, Doug and the other, the rest of the AW, AWP team was there, and um, they questioned on why they did what they did. Because normally when they pull out a car with a body in it is they'll drag it out the way it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and her car was upside down. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also there was the front window was down and the back passenger window was partially down. Yeah. And uh, so they end up flipping it right side up. and In the water. Out, yeah, pulling out that way. And uh, um, you could just, you could tell Doug was just not, so all the contents come pouring out. Yeah, and that's something that we'll get get back to here in a little bit. But basically, law enforcement just just dismissed AWP. Yeah. Yep. Oh, let me back up a little bit. Search. Once, yeah. Once uh, um, I saw an interview with the law enforcement, and uh, the gentleman claimed that AWP never contacted them. Yeah. Yeah. He claimed that they found out that AWP found her car um, on Facebook. Yeah. And that's that uh, these guys are always so, so very professional. I yeah. just, you know, I can't see that happening. No, me either. And one of the things, um, and again, like Teresa said, this is just, this is just our opinions. And uh, we really, really encourage you to do the research if you're interested and formulate your own opinions. But but it just it seems seems to me that there is some sort of cover up, cover up going on because it is speculated somebody is related to somebody in that sheriff's office. Yeah, and you know, and I mean, just none of the none of the kids at the party knew anything. Yeah, it's amazing. Somebody yeah. knows something. Uh, you know, out of two to three hundred yep. people, and I guess there was a lot of adults there too that were partying. And there were a lot of guys like really approaching the the women. Yeah. And, and making very, you know, mood suggestions. Yeah. One of the things they did suspect is that maybe she had been slipped something in a drink. Yeah. Yes. But if I remember right, her BAC was, I mean, it was over the legal limit, but they thought it might have been from the from the fermentation. If Man, we're getting way ahead of ourselves on the autopsy. Got it. To okay. back up to, we're just pulling the vehicle out okay. and flipped it. A lot of contents came pouring out of the vehicle. Yep. And then... Uh, <laughs> squeal! <laughs> and then, oh, let's see. Sorry, I got my notes. Okay, that's... that's you got so excited, you, you jumped that, over to that. I did. <laughs> I did. And uh, um, so they end up... Uh, they got the car out. They they removed her from the car. The very interesting thing in on this is the no. When they got her out, they didn't they didn't remove her from there though. They just covered up. Okay, the windows. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, of course they. I don't know if they removed them there or they they towed the whole vehicle and removed her. Yeah, I don't. I yeah, don't I don't know. On that. I don't know how they do yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know on that. But the the um, the thing that was very very suspicious was she was found in the the very very far back um honda crv is uh it's an suv the hatchback and it's a it's a small hatchback suv and she was not in the back seat she was behind the back right. seat and uh there have been many people that have commented that they do not know they don't know how she got back there that they speculated that uh, um, that she couldn't climb back there. Yeah, they say it's physically impossible that the human body would fit in that small opening between the window, you know, the the roof and the very back seat. Okay. Even if you were buoyant and full of and there was water full, you still wouldn't fit back there. They speculate somebody put her back there. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, you know, that goes back to why did Jaeger and, uh, quote, the the uh, Kylie that was there, why did they keep the uh, AAA driver from looking all the way in yep. the back? Yeah, You know, and that's one of the things we were wondering. Yeah. And uh, um, so a few days later, there was a gentleman out there. Oh, 
uh, let me back up a little bit more. One of the things that uh, AWP showed is they flew their drone over over the the car, and you could see the car from yeah, the, no, we already the, talked oh, about did that. we? Okay, yeah. I can't yeah. remember. And uh, so a few days later, there was a gentleman in a kayak, and he was out checking out the area, and he could look down into the water, and he found he saw a bag and her laptop mm -hmm. that they had just. They, I assume it came falling out of the car when they flipped it over. And didn't bother to, to gather up anything that came yeah. out. Yeah, and uh, nobody knows if they found her cell phone or not. Right. Uh, they don't know if, if the police found it and kept it. But but like I said, the whole thing, it just sounds like so <coughs> much of a cover-up. It's so sloppy. I mm -hmm. mean, how, I mean how, how so sloppy. And I believe in one interview somebody made a comment. It, one of them said to the police officer, are you guys going to get that stuff that came out of the vehicle? And they said, oh, no, we'll worry about that later. Okay. Yeah, so so what is actually going on here? You know, um, it's just there's, there's so many things that are just so suspicious of this, and it just... Let's get to the autopsy now. Okay. Fill these people in. Okay. You know. The autopsy. They did not release the information for the from the autopsy until what about a week ago? Yes. About a week ago, and the coroner said that uh, um, that it was uh, an accidental death. Yeah, accidental drowning. An accidental drowning, but didn't find water in her lungs. Yeah, isn't that? I mean, if you drown, you'd find water in the lungs. Yeah. And uh, he, he tested for drugs and alcohol in her system. And she did have pot in her system. And she did have pot in her system. And uh, the alcohol in her system, it was just slightly over uh, the legal limit of 0 .08. But uh, also it, it is said that when a body is decaying, that the nat natural fermentation process can make produce, the ethanol yeah yeah can produce ethanol yeah so they're not sure you know then they're not nobody's denying that she might have been drinking but you know some people speculated that she was so drunk she didn't know which way is up right so and whoever was driving the vehicle also had to have made a very sharp turn they speculate for that vehicle to flip and go in the water that way. Oh, okay. At a high rate of speed. Okay. And she would not have done that. Yeah. And there were there were no notes of tire tracks going into the water. And yeah. that's that's another thing that is there is there a cover up in this? And also the boyfriend, the ex boyfriend, they were on again, off again and known to fight quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You know, and he was a very, very jealous person. Mm -hmm. And also, isn't the new his new girlfriend that Sammy? I thought it was. Yeah, Sammy is his new girlfriend. Was there a big jealousy thing at the party? We we're all drinking, we're all smoking some pot, and we're having a great time. And you know that a lot of people when they drink can get extra emotional, especially when mm -hmm. you're a young. You know, you're a teenager and stuff, yep. and, you know, was there a big... Somebody said, too, there was a big fight. Yeah. There was a big commotion at that party, and that's why it was breaking up. Yeah. They, nobody knew for sure if she was involved in this or not. Everybody just started scattering like wildfire. Yep. Nobody can pinpoint that they saw her leave the party. Yeah. And, and yeah. And Out of that many people? Nobody, every, nobody saw anything. And uh, a few days, maybe a, a week or two afterwards, there is somebody with a video that claims that this video is of her car going into the water. Right. No, it's on a security camera. Oh, was it? A, okay. ring, a ring camera. Oh, okay. And the video's from a long ways away. Right, right, and right. And basically all you can see is headlights, and I didn't see right. it. But I didn't either, I, I, but I, you know. Yeah. But it's it just, there has got to be a big cover-up here. And I mean... The two people that are talking about the case that were at the party are Jaeger and Sammy. Mm -hmm. Both have been in the media with their mouths just going like crazy, 
it's basically Sammy, oh, she's my best friend and I love her so much. Mm -hmm. And it's like, really? You know, and the ex-boyfriend start talking about her. It's like, it's kind of odd. Yeah, and wasn't, wasn't Jaeger the one that was related to somebody in... I speculate. I think somebody okay. said somewhere, but we've watched so many videos yeah. on it. That, yeah, that he related to somebody in the sheriff department. Yeah. Now, that's just my, my, you know, I can't... I would have to go back and watch about 50 videos to pinpoint who said what, when, where, and they might have been wrong on it. But there's a cover-up. Yeah. In that department, there's a cover-up. Adventures with Purpose is very, they work very hard to not badmouth anybody, and they continue to work very hard to not badmouth this sheriff's department. But they even said, oh, we cannot believe that they did things the way they did and with so little care. You know, and that's huge coming from them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, but, you know, when you you don't care, and I mean, they gave their expert opinion. I mean, Adventures with Purpose, they do this all over the United States. They're the, they're the most, they are the most professional and most, the biggest experts on this kind of recovery. Mm -hmm. the, the Sheriff's Department didn't want to listen a bit. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to take any precautions at all to not spill the contents of the vehicle. That's the whole reason when Adventures with Purpose discovers a vehicle that's been missing, and it, whether or not they can see a body in there, they're like, it's a crime scene. Hands off. Because they want to preserve everything mm -hmm. in the vehicle. The most they'll do, they go around the vehicle and they check to see if windows are up, windows are down, and they'll... You know, they they might, so they'll report it to the person on shore. They'll say whether or not um, the tires are intact or whatever. They'll pull the license plate. Yeah. So they make sure they have the right vehicle. Yep. You know, but it's like, it's so sad to me because her mother and father are so distraught, and I can only imagine to not know what happened to your beautiful 16-year-old daughter at this party. Mm -hmm. Her mother tr completely trusted her, said she'd never caused her any problems, you know, and that, you know, she wouldn't go and drink and drive. <clears throat> and, um, you know, she called her mom to say, I'm on my way home. She didn't have to. Mm -hmm. And her mom didn't discover that she wasn't home until the next morning. She gets up to, you know, go to work and you know, wants to see, you know, say hi to her daughter, and guess what? But, I mean, it's a very disturbing case, and the reason we want to talk about it is, yeah, we're true crime buffs. That's a lot of what we watch. Um, and I think bringing public awareness, you know, is good. Mm -hmm. It is very good. You mm -hmm. know, we'll be doing this every Sunday. We'll bring you guys another case. Or perhaps an update. The next one we'll probably do is that Quentin, um, Quentin Simpson, the little twenty-month-old boy, oh, Simon. Simon, yeah. okay, who's missing, yeah. and um, very sad case. Uh, but um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, you've done this. You know, you can watch. You don't have to be a paid member to watch most of Adventures with Purposes. There are videos on this. Um, Christina Randall has done a lot of really great videos. If you go on her channel and then you go into her playlist, she has just a playlist about about this case. There's like six videos. That's a lot of your, your great information there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she thoroughly does her research. Yeah, she does. Um, so it's a very sad case. It's just... Um, you know, and like I said, we're going to start doing certain days is, is we're going to, you know, we're going to pick one day a week that maybe Brad will show things he's working on. And another day of the week, I'll show things I'm working on. Maybe another day of the week, we'll tell you guys what we have planned for the week. Oh, Alexa is talking. Alexa, Why are you cancel. talking, Alexa? Okay. So rude. Alexa, shut up. Wow, she's a motor mouth sometimes. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you use the a word. What? 
I didn't say it. I know. Well, just now it did. Yeah. But it, so <laughs> we'll be trying to bring you guys a little more content on, you know, like meals we have planned. Uh, of course, you know, we talk about the exercise and stuff. Maybe things we're going to be doing, you know. Uh, we're just an old married couple. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's what we do. We all dog pile, as we call it, on my bed. And um, the dogs allow us to have a little section of the bed. They do. You know, very little. Of course, it's nice that you have a big mastiff. You can actually lay your head on him and stuff. Mr. Groner. We'll have to shoot a video of him groaning. Oh, my he Lord. Does. Yeah. He's gotten so much more vocal since we have Jilly being so has Nixie. I mean, Lord. Yeah. They all pick up habits from each other. It's quite cute. <laughs> but, so, um, you know, check this out if you're looking for, you know, something. Because there isn't much content a lot of times on, on YouTube. Let's face it. Um, you know, and, uh, but this is very fascinating uh, content. And um, it makes you really think. Mm -hmm. You think it makes you think when you're older is good, basically <laughs> yes. if you're not in the workforce any longer. Mm -hmm. A stagnant mind is just that it goes stagnant. Yep. And um, but yeah, we really think just there's got to be a massive cover up. There's got to be a reason why this beautiful young lady is dead. Mm -hmm. Why she um, there was no water, why no water in her lungs, but she drowned. Why was she shoved back in that tiny little trunk compartment, basically? You know, <coughs> her alcohol level should have been much higher than it was. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I think there's some definite foul play. And I bet you anything, this is just my opinion at this point in time, is I think that her best friend and the ex-boyfriend, who are now together, are the culprits. I really, really do. Mm -hmm. I really think an altercation broke out between maybe the three of them. And I really think that this is, you know, because did you, you caught that part too where Sammy's like, oh, well, she was going to get a ride home. No, it was another friend who was going to get a ride home from her and decided not to. Or was it Sammy who said I that? I don't remember. I think it was Sammy who said she was going to get a ride home with, with, with Kylie, but then decided that Kylie was too drunk to, to get a ride home with her. So you let her drive anyway if you thought she was too drunk? Hello? Yeah. You're supposed to be a best friend? Wouldn't you have then taken the keys from her and said, Guess what? I'm calling your mom. Your mom's going to come get both of us. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have done. You know, I don't care if she's mad at me. At least she'll be alive and mad. Yep. But I don't think there's some foul play. I this really Sammy like has it. been way too eager to get in the press and talk about what a wonderful friend she was to Kylie and stuff, and it's like, um, excuse me? Yep. Really? No, nobody else has felt the need to do that. You know, I mean, trying to cover up stuff, so same way with the ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Oh, he loved her. He can't believe she's gone. Yep. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But, any... What's your opinion on this all? I, I feel about the same way you do. You know, I feel like that there is a cover-up and then somebody from law enforcement is is trying to to keep these people out of the headlines. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you know, two two to three hundred people, and nobody saw anything. Yeah, somebody and, saw something. You know, the sloppy work they somebody did. Somebody knows yeah. something somewhere. You know, and one of the things I would really, really love to see is you guys' opinion. You know, if there's any of you that have have watched these videos. And, you know, maybe there's probably some of you that have watched a lot more of these videos than we and, have. And, you know, please speak your mind. We yeah. won't get upset that you no. have a totally different opinion than we do. Mm -hmm. Maybe you think Adventures with Purpose is the most horrible, you know, group ever. I mean, you know, and we'll be respectful because everybody yep. needs to be respectful on this platform. Mm -hmm. And, you know, somebody's got a different opinion is I listen to everybody's opinion because sometimes... They have a valid point. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll see something from a different viewpoint, and yep. I've never thought of it that way. Yep, exactly. Or you've never thought. I still learn from him, you know, and vice versa, because mm -hmm. sometimes I'll see something a completely different way than he does. We'll bo both voice our opinions, and then 
I'm the type, I will kind of digest what you've said and I'll think on it mm -hmm. for a day or two. And then I'm like, hey, I mm -hmm. think they're right. Or, hey, I think you're still full of it. <laughs> you know, but um, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's sad, but it's exciting. Yes. You know, is that's what we do in the evenings. You'll find us watching stuff like that. Or, and I'm making, guess what I'm making? Another dog sweater, of course. Just some scrap yarn for the, the jelly bean. Um, and uh, then I'm going to move to headbands. Uh, but, um, yeah. But we got going on this fine Sunday doing some laundry. Yep. Talking about this case. Mm -hmm. Right? You got it. I started watching that thing on Netflix. That it's only seven episodes called The Watchers. If you're into mystery, thriller, horror stuff... That's one. It's like a psychological thriller. So, I don't love that kind of stuff. Brad, that's not so much into it. You might no. even enjoy it, but I don't want to re-watch the episodes I've watched. But I think I watched three episodes last night. They're oh, about really? an hour long each, maybe 45 minutes. I had to make myself stop. Because you need to sleep some. I'm like, stop. So, I'm like, ooh. You know how you binge watch? It's like, no, you will not. You know. I'm eager to watch some more of it now, because, you know. And I, I just finished watching the first season of uh, The Rings of Power, uh, based on now the... What, what's that on? It's on Amazon Prime. And uh, it's based on uh, The Lord of the Rings. And this is supposed to happen thousand or thousands of years before the actual um, Lord of the Rings. And... Uh, I so so very impressed with this. Uh, they did a great job. Yeah, you said on you it. really liked it. Yeah, and I was really disappointed. Now I'm going to have to wait a whole year until the next. Yeah. That goes by pretty fast. Yeah. Tell them how much you love the blacklist. The blacklist. Now that's on Netflix. That is on Netflix, and I love mm -hmm. the show. Uh, the blacklist. Uh, James Spader is such a good actor, and. Uh, um, you know, that is, that's been another great series, so... And you get so excited when that comes on. See, we watch a lot of stuff together, but then there's certain stuff that we just don't watch together. And, um, you know, and it's good to not always be, you know, on top of each other. You can mm -hmm. actually go to another room and watch stuff. Yep. He'll crawl into his bed, and I'll crawl into mine, and, yeah. you know, we'll watch stuff, and we'll call each other every so often, <laughs> you know. Well, that 70 feet is so far to walk. It seems like it sometimes, uh, don't it, though? It's yeah. like, holy moly. Especially when I get Nixie walking right ahead huh? of me. And then I get to the kitchen, and then Charlie's right there. So I got both of them walking right ahead of me. And whenever you have a dog or a person walking ahead of you, you know, they're going to walk so slow, you're like, come on. You yeah. know? So. But, well, we're just chit-chatting. They don't yeah. mind. Okay. Well, I just... You know, I don't know if they have better things to do than listen to us. Well, they can watch us in segments or shut us off. <laughs> That's the nice thing. It's not like you're trapped at somebody's house or, or mm. an event where you're like, I can't get away from I know, person. there is no escape. You know, you all know. And it's like, really? Or you have somebody over at your house and you're like, leave already, okay? You've been here 12 hours. Leave yep. already. And they're like, they're like nesting, and you're like, no, leave. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> leave. I don't want you here forever. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I, I would really love to hear you guys' opinions on uh, the Kylie, Kylie Rodney case. Yes. You yeah, because that's very, if you guys love true crime and stuff like we do, I mean, you mm -hmm. know. I am just blown away. Let me talk about this. We're talking about true crime. Okay. Everybody knows about Jeffrey Dahmer, right? I am just so blown away about any murder case that somebody can murder somebody else. Now, we all have people that maybe we've even hated or we've strongly disliked, <laughs> but I've never thought about killing somebody. Not in seriousness. I might have threatened him a few times. A few. And, well, you've never threatened me with that, but, you know, he knows I'm not serious when I, I you know. I mean, heck, I feel bad if a mouse dies. Mm -hmm. But um, I am just amazed. You know, like the things that he did and just 
like um, the Chris Watts case. I still will never understand how he could kill his wife and those two little girls. Yeah. And do what he did to the little girls' bodies afterwards. It just blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind how you can be an everyday person carrying out the monotonous everyday things that we all have to do and then oh well I think I'm gonna go kill this person now mm -hmm. and then I'll jump right back into acting like I'm just this normal human who and I mean the evilness in people's mm -hmm. minds just blows me away <clears throat> it does you know yeah. we've had some big cases there in, in around Casper Wyoming that just Mm -hmm. blow your mind yeah there's one of those eventually i'd like to talk about it well probably there's a couple of them yeah yeah there's a couple of them that yeah. we will say that we're gonna make a whole list yep stuff make um, a list, check it yeah. twice. i need to start a playlist too and i want to apologize to all you guys because i know i've been on here for about 10 years now like may with my 10 year um anniversary and i've never done a playlist but we need to like starting today's and stuff, I need to throw all these in a playlist. Okay. The true crime and stuff. Okay. But, um, yeah. Like I said, check out Christina Randall. Yes. Uh, check out Adventures with Purpose. Um, if you just type in, thank you. <laughs> what were you doing? Just I liked touching it. Touching your hair. Oh. Mm -hmm. You like to mess with my hair. Mm -hmm. Um, now you just... <laughs> <laughs> Type in Kylie Randall. It ran Rodney. Rodney. See, he's got me all flustered now. It's K I E L Y R O D N I. Yeah, and and you'll you'll get all kinds of yep. news reports and other people talking about it and stuff. Um, but you know, it's fascinating. And sometimes we don't have a whole lot to talk about. We only want. You guys don't want to hear about our medical all the time. And mm. frankly, right now, we don't have a lot of medical. Mm -hmm. We don't have, I mean, I'm getting over, I just got a tiny touch of the flu still. Um, I don't know if you do or not. Kind of comes bit, and goes yeah. with you. Um, but we don't really have anything else to talk about. You know, and, um, but so this is exciting to us. And I think it'll be exciting to you guys. No, I haven't poured any more candles. I'm hoping not. Yeah next week to do that uh we haven't gone magnet fishing we're hoping to do that soon being sick kind of threw a wrench in yeah. that so um I, I got mom poured a couple days ago he got his mother poured resin in, poured in a, yeah in a memory fame frame yeah. and everything yeah and, and um uh, you know I'll, I'll show that can you move your you guys see right over by brad's shoulder here on the wall carol got us this um pot rack that's on the wall. A couple of years ago, we moved in the house, and we just now got it up, but she'll understand that. And then, you see how beautifully I decorated it? That's the milk jug and the watering can are new. They're, I got them from Walmart, very inexpensive, some time ago. But then, the other stuff on there is antiques. So, um, I really love how mm -hmm. they turned out and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, too. you know, it's starting to look more like home. Mm -hmm. So... Anyway, we're going to let you guys go because um, it's almost 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Love you guys. And remember, do something nice for somebody else and then do something nice for yourself. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends. And um, as always, everybody say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. And bye, say guys. bye, Teresa. <laughs>